In this video, we demonstrate the effect of mounting technique on accelerometer high frequency response. To do so, we calibrate the same accelerometer in four different configurations stud or screw mount, magnetic mount, wax mount, and grease mount. This calibration test demonstrates these effects as it is the most controllable and repeatable vibration test possible. In practice, calibration tests are normally performed using the mounting technique with the best high frequency results, stud or screw mounting. This technique is often not possible to use on a test structure. This demonstration may shed light on the performance differences on the test structure versus the calibration data. After considering these differences, you may choose to specify that calibrations be performed using the same mounting technique as will be in place on the structure, reproducing test performance, or the best possible technique, reproducing factory performance. Regardless of the mounting technique used, we start by cleaning the mounting surfaces and making sure they are free from all debris. Use a mild cleaning agent such as acetone and a non-abrasive, dust-free cleaning cloth. Never scrape, abrade, grind, or lap the mounting surface of your calibration shaker. For stud mounting, apply a small amount of gap filling silicon grease to the mounting surfaces. Then, thread the accelerometer to the mounting hole with the mounting stud and apply the appropriate torque. This is the data for the stud mount configuration. For each configuration, we should focus on the amplitude response plot while noting the y-axis scaling. The magnetic mount relies on a two-piece magnetic set each of which is stud mounted to the mounting surfaces with the techniques noted previously. When connecting the magnets, take care to slide them together from the side and avoid snapping them together, which would damage the sensors. The high frequency results of this test reveal dramatically more relative motion of the accelerometer due to the mounting technique. For the wax mounting, an adhesive mounting base is stud mounted to the shaker with the techniques noted previously. A layer of Petro wax is applied to the base of the accelerometer and it is pressed onto the mounting base. The high frequency results of this test show the accelerometer was due to fail when the factory specifications are applied. Finally, we demonstrate an extremely rare configuration called grease mounting. Again, a thin layer of grease is applied, but without a mounting stud. Curiously, grease mounting provides the closest results of any to the stud mount technique. However, it is also the least repeatable and least likely to be used on a test structure. In summary, choosing your preferred calibration mounting method, whether it is the same as will be used during testing, or rather the best possible technique to reproduce factory performance, offers you the data necessary to ensure confidence in the measurements from your next test.